Hello everyone, I am Professor Casey Jones. How are you? Yes, it's real, I'm a real person. I'm the person that bugs you with announcements and sends you emails and tell you you gotta do some stuff. So I just wanted to say hello, and also I wanna go over the PSA assignment a little bit, just some highlights and some things to keep in mind before you get started. So let's do it. So the PSA assignment is a great assignment. Yes, I'm biased, fully admit that. But I think that once you get into it and face the reality that it's due in week five, yeah, week five. Okay, just let that burn for a second. Okay, time's up. So I want you to realize that as soon as you commit to it and really get into your topic and creating something, you're gonna have a great time. It's just the getting started part. So that's why that plan is there for you to really get as detailed as possible. The more detailed you can get, the better. And it's always a good idea to start with the, with the data. You gotta do the research. Because if you're sitting there trying to get some ideas, it's too hard. But if you're reading about your topic, or you're reading about several topics because you haven't decided yet, and you start to really see what's going on in the world and learn from a different perspective maybe what's happening out in the world, all of a sudden the ideas are gonna come to you and that's so much easier from a writing standpoint and a creative standpoint. You gotta give your brain something to work on. If it's blank, it's blank. Trust me, I know. So get into the research on your topics, pick a topic as soon as you can, and then research the heck out of it using very reputable sources. So no dot coms, no Wikipedia. Um, I'm not gonna let you use Fox News, but also not MSNBC, okay? We want something that's, a, that's more unbiased, just the facts. So that's why going into the databases at the library, using books, academic encyclopedias, our textbook, that's where you get the information that's really legitimate about what's going on. And if you're use, using something that has a resource at uh, Pasadena, by all means, go visit that. Go visit that department um, online so that you can get a little bit more information of where to suggest we go to get the resources for the issue that you're discussing. Okay, so when I say issue, I'm talking about a social issue. So you've seen the PSA assignments with Sarah McLaughlin singing in the arms of an angel that's always two o'clock in the morning when you're sitting there alone without a pet, all right? That's a PSA assignment. And if you've seen the one with the egg and the skillet, this is your brain, this is drugs, this is your brain on drugs, that's a PSA assignment about drug abuse. So you can go into YouTube and find many, many, many examples of PSAs, and I highly recommend that you do that. But also think about some of the movies or the TV shows and how they've put together something visually that really caught your attention. Music videos are really good. They're usually not talking about social issues per se, but they're giving you a visual way of understanding their message, and that's what we're trying to do with the PSA assignment. You have to create the PSA assignment yourself, okay? So you're not taking clips from a whole bunch of stuff and putting it together. You're not going to YouTube and bogarting one of those and using it for your assignment. You're making new content. You do not have to be an actor in that content. If you're living at home, I guess your family's gonna be the actors in this, right? So I want you to know that it needs to be something that you create. So I've got all those resources in there for places that you can go to create content fairly easily online and for free once you've recorded it. So go check those things out because that can be daunting for people who've never made a short video, especially the editing part but it's really a lot easier than you think with some of the resources I've put up. So check it out before you go, ah! okay? Check it out first. And then if you're still like, ah! let me know, okay? <laughs> we'll bring that down. I can, I can help you. I can help you with that. So that's a really important part. The other thing is making the time, is making the time. So your PSA has a time requirement and then your whole presentation has a time requirement. So during that overall time requirement, you're gonna be showing your PSA, you're giving a speech, and you're using a PowerPoint. So I want you to think about if we were in class and I was up here right now giving my PSA assignment, which would be amazing and fabulous and super informative and helpful, and you're in the audience right now. So imagine I'm at the front of the class with 
the computer and all of that, and you're sitting in the chairs. So I would be giving you a speech. I would have my PowerPoint up here to help fill in information and give you some stats about the topic that I'm discussing. And then at some point in my presentation, I'm going to show you my PSA assignment. So you're going to be standing up just like you would if you were giving a speech in class. And you can either use your computer to uh, show us your PSA. You can also set it up with connecting your computer to your television with an HDMI cord so that we can see it. Um, you can do that for your PowerPoint and use your computer, another computer to show your uh, PSA assignment. There's lots of ways we can do it. And you need to have an audience. So if you don't have enough people that live with you to create the audience requirement, no problem. I can zoom in and watch. Other people can zoom in and watch. We can all get together live and everybody take turns giving the speeches live. We can do that. There's lots of opportunity to make your audience. So don't worry about that, but put it in your plan. Like, what do you plan to do so that we can put it on the calendar if you want us all, you know, want some of us to get together and do it together? Okay. Okay, it can, it's fine, it's manageable, and I will make myself available when you're, uh, when you're recording your presentation if you need that one extra person, okay? Or if you need five extra people, whatever you need, we either have this class and I have six other classes, so it's no big deal. Well, five other classes. One of them feels like six. No, kidding. That's, that's quarantine teacher humor. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. I, I want you to enjoy the assignment and get the most out of it, but it does have some moving parts that you might be going, what? So be sure you ask me, okay? All right, that's it for now. I'll see you again, bye.